Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership, Three String Cigar Box Guitar. This is Boogie Chillin', this is John Lee Hooker. This is the album version that says 1948 next to it. I believe that's the first version. Uh, this In this version, he plays in B. And in subsequent versions, he has turned it into an A song. So just take everything down a whole tone or two frets from this lesson, and you can play along with the George Thorogood version or any of the other blues cats that you really like. A lot of, I'll, I'll digress a little bit, a lot of early African-American blues, I think, was kind of just thrown out there. And so they didn't think 1-4-5, they didn't think 1-4, they were just playing what they do and creating this art, this wonderful art form. And this is, they just doing it as they did it live. And then they brought them into the studio, and they were like, just play it. And they just did. And that's what stuck. And this is just such a beautiful example of art, of African-American blues art, that I have ever seen. I love John Lee Hooker. So I'm going to try to do my best and recreate this. But if you want to play this kind of stuff, I suggest just take this John Lee Hooker stuff and then turn it into your own. Because I think that's what he would want you to do, and that's kind of the way the art form works. The folk process is to take somebody else's stuff and turn it into your stuff. And that's what everybody has done in this folk blues process. So uh, this is going to be pretty much what's on the album. But like I said, fool around with this and, and kind of make it yours. I think that would be the best uh, tribute to John Lee Hooker that you could do. And I've talked too much, so let me just play. Here we go. Boogie Chillin', 1948. Well, my mama loaned me just to stay out all night long. Down Hastings Street. Everybody was talking about the Henry Swing Club. I decided to drop in there that night. When I got there, I said, Yes, people, they're really having a ball. Yes, I know. Boogie we'll chilling. All right, there is another lyric. And uh, that does the typical one, four, five. So the John Lee Hooker rhythm is exactly this. <laughs> gauges. They're electric and they are wound. And I'm playing through a Roland Cube, a Roland Mini Cube. And I'll show you those settings at the end of the video because I've got it kind of dialed up pretty hot. So uh, G at the open. G sharp, A, B flat, and B. B is the key of this song. In his later years, John Lee would bring it down to A. So if you watch John Lee Hooker, um, in later concerts, as he's older, it'll all be an A. If you watch the George Thorogood, the uh, George Thorogood things, it'll all be an A. We're playing it in B. Take everything I've learned, take everything you've learned from this lesson, and just move it down a whole tone to A. From B to A. So we're here on B. G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E. That's the four chord in this song. F and F sharp is the five chord, okay? So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at in between, that's a B. Then on, okay, that's your fourth dot, 
right there, on, and then right below the two dots. And that's how I think of it, here and here. So that's the one, B, E is the four, and five, okay, is the F sharp. On these two chords, I tend to like to use the seven. And so the E is, this four chord is nine, nine, nine. I like to do the seventh, which is nine, nine, seven. And I also like the F sharp seven, which is 11, 11, nine. So you'll see me. Right? I really like that. But I don't like the seventh on the B. So that's the rhythm, is hit a bass, and then just come up. As long as you have even numbers of pull up, you'll be fine. Uh, if you listen to a lot of John Lee Hooker, he does these... He just fools around with it and kind of throws it out there. and that's, that's the genius of John Lee Hooker. He knows exactly when to throw you that... He knows exactly when you throw you that bass note. It, it's brilliant. It's just so brilliant. Um, actually, I just watched the Blues Brothers movie and uh, watching Boom Boom and like going, wow, that is just so awesome. Anyway, so we're playing this B and we're going to hit the B bass note right there. Then we're going to pull up. And when we pull up, we're not pulling up to get the whole chord. We're just pulling up to get this first string and maybe the D. So we're focusing all of our energy on that note, but we're kind of grabbing them together. And if you notice, I kind of hinge a little bit. So I like the bass and I hinge. So that's my technique of getting this sound, is this little hinge move. And I'm never letting go of the strings, okay? So I'm hinging down, hinging up, hinging down, hinging up. I never let go of the strings. The little secret to this is this little move where I go from this note here, D sharp to a D sharp. So. So I'm going. So I'm here on C sharp. So get used to that. You can use your third finger. So kind of put your third finger here and one hit. As opposed to, you're going to just, all right? The first lyric starts on the four chord, which is the E. Oh, my mama loaned me just to stay out all night long. These spaces between the lyrics are as long or short as you would like. Because sometimes he spaces them out a long time, sometimes he doesn't. This music breathes. This type of uh, playing style breathes. So give it breath. It doesn't have to be on time perfectly all the time because he doesn't play it that way. That's the art form and that's what makes him a musical genius is that he throws you just enough pattern for you to get it and then kind of plays with you and teases you with pattern. So that's how I want you to think of this. So come up to that four on E7. My mama low me just to stay out all night long. Now stay on this a little bit. Okay, 
now we can go up. Well, my mom alone, man, just to stay out all night long. Now we're going to go to the five chord, and that's here. In cash you low, I'm going to boogie anyhow. I'm playing with time. That's what he did was play with time signatures. That's his genius. And then he just sits on here for the second lyric. When I first came to town, I was walking down, and he just tells you a story. And then goes to the four chord. Yes, I know. We'll get chilling. Right? So the last lyric does a traditional one, four, five. So this is how it kind of works. But what I want you to do is get this rhythm. So I'm going to go really slow. Start out with the hit on that B. And I use my pinky because it goes there really easily, but that's me. If you say more traditional, it would be your third finger. Now there are little tricks in this that I want you to see, and one of these tricks is to come up to this B, okay? And this B is 12, 13, 14, 15, it's on the 16th fret, and you are going to put your pinky right here in between these two dots, okay? I can tell you right now that's a D sharp, because I count one, two, three dots, I count one, two, three dots, it's there. That's a D sharp, so that's a D sharp. So you're here. That is just a great little chord that I just mimicked right off of the album. So just remember, so it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, and I just count 17, 18, 19, there's 20. All right, another little trick he does is on this B, it's just like a B7 down here. So it would be four, four, two, except we're up here, okay? So we're on 16, 16, 14, but you don't need that bass note, you're just here. Two little trills, or they're not quite trills, but these two little dyads. So this one is 16, 14, and this one is 13, 11. Okay, so at speed. That's how I like to play this. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Please see my companion video. I do play some harmonica on it, and uh, so that's super fun. And uh, so that's awesome. It's an E harmonica, by the way. And uh, I do have a uh, PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. A buck a show is all we ask. I thank you so much for all that you've done for me. I do have a Facebook page, and uh, I'm going to show you this... Uh, it's my settings here on this mini cube right here. And uh, so these are my settings. So you can see my gain is almost at 12 o'clock. I've got a little bit of reverb and I'm on the Brit combo. So there you go. Enjoy. This is really fun song to play. Thank you so much for everything.